just continuing on um sorry the video cut short so i've had to split it into two i think i talk too much <laughs> the uh the ranger definitely gives you a lot of extra features especially in the xlt so you've got automatic wipers automatic headlights uh, all function through your main sensors just tucked up there behind the rear rear vision mirror but that's your light switch there so automatic on parkers and off you've then got a fog light switch on the left hand side and you can adjust the dimming of the main dash using those two buttons on the right hand side and there is just a button here which uh, is a button used to turn the light on the rear uh, which is located on the brake light to illuminate the rear tub central locking on both driver and passenger doors and you've got climate control there as well all electric windows from the driver's seat you can control all four with the window lock and then you've got electric mirrors up on the dash there with a the little button here which as you watch if I press the button the mirrors both fold in electronically it's great for if you're parking on main roads or anything like that whatsoever so the steering wheel um, is a leather wrapped wheel you've got a little control pad on the right and the left hand side You've got your Bluetooth and audio volume controls here. This control pad controls that screen there. So you can see there, it's changing colors. You've got your speedo in the middle with the indication of what gear you're in. And then the left hand side controls that screen there. With your different parameters, you've got a taco there as well. Fuel, temperature gauge, speedometer, distance to empty, average economy, those sorts of things. Now, on the stalk, you've also got a button on the end, which actually controls, if you look at that screen carefully, and I'll try and zoom in for you, that little car there will adjust what they call lane keeping technology. So what it will do is if you're veering across a lane or the line on the lane, It'll actually auto correct you to make sure you're not driving either into oncoming traffic or alternatively veering across into someone else. Now, the other upside to that technology is it's incorporated, now I'll just zoom out, sorry, with what they call adaptive cruise control and speed limiting. Now that's all controlled on the on the pad here on the right hand side. So basically you've got standard cruise which you can set, resume, and cancel accordingly. Um, but you can actually adjust the amount of distance in front of your car. And I'll see if I can get that on, on screen there. So you can adjust the amount of distance between you and the car in front that the vehicle will actually hold you off and start braking on your behalf to avoid any sort of collisions. Now, the speed limiting literally limit the speed that your car can go um, which can be very useful in certain situations but one of those features that it's nice to have um, and it definitely ensures that you won't uh, be bringing home any speeding fines apart from that you've got your main communication unit which is a, a four-point communication um, it also incorporates your sync 2 system so with your tech pack you've got Bluetooth streaming Bluetooth connectivity for your phone and uh, you can actually listen and you can write text messages through uh, voice uh, with the car, so it's very handy, especially if you're on the road a fair bit. The top right hand side incorporates your navigation, so you've got satellite navigation incorporated into the vehicle where you can just simply type in your destination, press go, and it will take you to the uh, via the fastest route. The bottom right corner is your climate control, so you can adjust the entire cabin temperature. Um, you've got an automatic function, and basically you set the temperature and off it goes. And the bottom left is your actual main entertainment. So you've got AM, FM radio, you've got dual band, um, uh, what do you call it, digital audio, CD, USB input, uh, phone streaming, SD card reading, and a line in there as well. So you've got an auxiliary input there too. 
but it is classed as a premium sound unit as standard and uh, I will just quickly try and find a station I'm not sure about the song but I'll just quickly demonstrate the noise quality crystal clear audio with seven or eight speakers as standard in a small cabin 